Hi, welcome. Today I'm going to show you Google Gmail API integration with Spring Boot. Okay. For more information, you can go to this website. In this website, we have Gmail API and Google Calendar API with Spring Boot along with WARP API integration. Now I will show you how to integrate Gmail API with Spring Boot. REST API along with WARP to authentication. You know, we have to understand what is use of WARP to authentication. WARP to is nothing but there are two factor authentication. Uh, how we have to integrate WARP to means first we have to create application with the Google. Okay, and there is a client ID and secret key will be there. We have to use those values into our application. The process flow for what to do first, you end user will raise the request. You go to the server URL to get the authorization code. Once you have the authorization code, again you have to send to server to get the authorization token. So the token will be. Uh, redirected to the callback URL. You have to set the callback URL along with your request. Otherwise, you can set it in your application when you are creating the application in the server, like Google. I mean, the Google application or Facebook application or Twitter. Okay. In this Gmail API, I am going to use Spring Boot REST API concept in Google Gmail API and OAuth too. So further information you can read this document okay so i have committed a sample project into this git repository the repository name is etocod plus google gmail api okay you can get the entire code okay simply you can download and import those that project into your eclipse okay here you have to change your configuration details so this is local server port number gmail client client id you have to get it from your server whenever you created application google okay the client client id will be there then client secret also will be there you have to copy these values from your applications then this is the redirect URI the redirect URI nothing but like once the token is ready the token will be forwarded to the this URL okay and one more thing scope scope is very important the, the scope is nothing but what application you are going to access like uh, mail application or a calendar or any other thing uh, Google Drive okay here we have to specify the particular application that is a mail gmail application or drive application okay so once you configured your endpoint i mean the client id client secret scopes and redirect uri in this application dot properties file uh, let me walk through the application workflow this is spring boot application okay so go, go to the controller Google Mail controller, okay. So we are reading client ID from application dot properties client secret and redirect URI. First, in your local browser, you have to use localhost colon nine thousand, okay. Login Gmail URL, okay. First, you have to get the authorization code okay once you have the authorization code then you have to pass those code into these parameters this is callback function this should be configured in your application the gmail i mean the, the google apis so once you configure this so once you pass this authorization code into your request url then your client a your client will be having token so the token you can have it so 
so now i am going to show you how to read the mail this is the user user id me means it's going to read my mail id so subject i am going to apply the query to filter the mail like welcome to your to cart the mail which is having subject welcome to your to cart all the mails we have uh, just uh, uh, imported from gmail okay then we can write our custom logic whatever we want this is for message body okay Uh, this is sample rest api applications using spring boot okay you, you can just explore it simply you can download the project from get up this location you can just explore it uh, if you have any query regarding this gmail api integration with spring boot along with wato to please contact me otherwise you can post you can get more information about the gmail google calendar api for spring boot along with want to go to this website etoco.com this url gmail api and gmail i mean google calendar api spring boot and want to so go to this url you can get more informations here you can see this application they have the code here find the source code for gmail api with worth to in github find the source code for google calendar api with worth to in github so these applications they are using uh, spring boot rest api google gmail api google calendar api worth to so for more information if you have any doubt if you are getting any issues while integrating gmail api with your applications please post your queries here comments here okay thank you thank you for watching this video thank you